Be not afraid, those who hear, and be less afraid, those who see. Greetings to you, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, and people everywhere, and my friends, I hope, abundant. I am the professor, Julia Sumner Miller, and we do physics and other strange things. And our physics today concerns a baseball bat and ball. Have you not encountered the following? Imagine, remember what I said about imagination, it plays an absolutely necessary role in our lives and without it you are dead. There is a pitcher yonder and he throws a ball firm and fast and straight. Of course it drops a little bit because of gravitation between his hand and me. And you hit it. Ooh, and there is a sting in the hands at the bat. There is a place on the bat where the ball is best engaged. That point is called the center of percussion. And I'm going to discuss it in, with a more simple apparatus. <clears throat> Here is a stick, an ordinary stick. You remember I said I had 41 demonstrations with a stick. Here's another one. This is a stick. Now I've put a hole through the end of the stick and I'm going to put a nail through the hole and then I'm going to imagine the stick oscillating on that nail. There it is. Good. So I'll draw that stick on the board. And there is the hole, the, the, the axis of rotation, and it is oscillating. It has a certain period. Oh, I'll write it for those who want to know what that expression looks like, and I'll say no more about it. Now, a remarkable property is possessed by this stick and by that one. Let me make another hole two-thirds the length of this stick. Right here. Well, that's one-third, I guess, if that's two-thirds, yeah. Let me make... Oh, wait, I'm in trouble. I am in trouble. Oh, I am in trouble. This first hole should have been here you will then imagine that the first hole is here, first hole is there, and the next one is there at the two-thirds mark. That is the length of the stick, and that is two-thirds the length of the stick. Would you believe it that if the stick is turned around and the axis of rotation is at the two-thirds mark, it'll have the same period incredible to witness. Now that point there is called the center of percussion. This is called the center of oscillation or the axis of rotation. And that point has a remarkable property. What kind of property? If a blow is delivered transversely to the bar at that place, we say in physics the hinge feels no reaction. Nothing is felt there. Accordingly, if the ball engages the bat at the center of percussion, no sting is felt by the hand. And I think that's wonderful to know. Wonderful to know. So you see how much can be revealed about the playing of a sport with a baseball and bat by just exploring the behavior of a stick with a couple holes in it. Now, this business of a hinge stick has another application. Here is a metronome whose period or frequency is governed by the position of the weight with respect to the axis. Slower. Slower still. Faster. All of these things are tied up. So indeed, musicians, many of them, study physics, since physics has its proper foundation, uh, correction, music has its proper foundation in physics. For it was Pythagoras in the fifth century BC who gave us the laws of vibrating strings, which musicians use abundantly. And I thank you for watching.